So there's no doubt, one of the big stories at this year's CES was automotive. And all you have to do is check out the Faraday demo car to see what I mean. Before this year's CES, I knew NVIDIA as a graphic card company. Now the graphic chip specialist has really outdone itself this year by launching NVIDIA Drive PX2, described as the world's first in-car artificial intelligence supercomputer. Uh, if you have an HD map, same thing. If the map changes, we know because we're actually remeasuring the environment constantly. Can you clear this or can you not? So we actually can measure it. Yeah. Example would be like new construction sites, for example, that was not there before. It's a surprise for the car. There's like something unusual on the road, but it would be able to, to detect that if the DNN cannot be some other sensor. And that's how you get a gamble. So if you do have a, an HD map, so something like from the here guys, or right. yep. there's a few others, then we know where we are on that map. And it's, again, it's probabilistic. So if there's a construction zone or something has changed, or even an accident. 10 centimeters, right? Yeah, we can actually get it about two, oh, two oh, centimeters. Oh, when we get all the way okay. Yesterday I heard 10, but today's not. No, no, it's, we, so we get down. I mean, what we currently have in these demos is actually 20, but it's because we're not running differential GPS, so our, our initial point isn't, isn't as good. Um, Right, but then you can, get, you can get into sort of the more kind of out there experimental things where, so, you know, let's say you have multiple makes of your car together, you can begin automatically flocking and doing convoys, and then you can actually use all the sensors together to actually get more detailed mapping. So there's a couple universities that actually have some cool stuff where the cars will self-identify and it realign on a freeway and automatically convoy. Can I ask a dumb question? Sure. Am, am I wrong or did NVIDIA used to be a video company? We still are. We're a visual computing company. When did that happen? We've always been a visual computing company. All right. But it's a big change to be in, in driver, like... No. No? No, we've been in supercomputers and everything else. Interesting. And it, we've been in GPU and we're using the power of the GPU for massively parallel processing. So we've been doing that for a while as well. So we're just applying it to a different field, which is automotive. Cool. But the foundational technology of NVIDIA was always there. And NVIDIA was hardly alone at CES. There were cars everywhere. Auto driving cars, self-driving cars, human driving cars. But cars were a very big deal.